Jason, congratulations, first win as an NRL coach, first win for the season. Good to get the monkey off the back. <laughs> yeah, good to get this monkey off my back, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, but I felt like it's been coming. Um, spoke about it, we needed to build our season and um, we were slow against the Broncos. I thought we were unlucky last week, especially dominated the second half and I felt from the, from the kick-off tonight we, we got back to what works for us and we made life hard for the Roosters and capitalised on it later in the game. What about the man sitting next to you, a stunning performance from your captain? Yeah, I benched him last week, so it's worth a treat. <laughs> it? um, no, nah, and that's why he's the captain of the team. I thought the last two weeks he's, he's done exactly um, what we know he's capable of, but um, what we know uh, has a massive impact on our team as well. Cam, you're wearing a nice one there, a sign of a tough night, but how did it feel tonight to be back in the starting side? Obviously, you came off shoulder surgery for the season. You felt like you're back, your best, back to your best tonight? Uh, yeah, I think I'm building nicely. I think uh, it's pretty reflective of the team as well. We're building in confidence, and like Coach said, I think, um, yeah, we're a bit off the mark first two rounds, but um, confidence has been building, and uh, yeah, it was just pleasing to get the result tonight. Oh, I don't know, I got a bit of a cut there. I probably should have cleaned myself up before I came in, but yeah, just um, oh, it looks look looks worse than it is. Just a yeah, a bit of a bump on the head. You were pumped for this one. You had. Yeah, um, it's never hard to get up against the Roosters. So, uh, yeah, just really pleased with the effort tonight. Um, like I said, uh, been building in confidence. Uh, we just needed to uh, fix our ball control a little bit and get our completion rate up a little bit. And I thought we did that tonight. It's still not perfect, but uh, moving in the right direction. And we had a lot to play for tonight as well. So, um, you know, not only were, were we playing our arch rivals, we were playing for Cookie. It was his 150th game, so we wanted to make it special for him. And obviously, we're uh, representing our Tongan uh, boys and our, and our Tongan community as well, raising some money for uh, what happened over there. So uh, it was a really special week. Um, first game at home as well. So, yeah, really pleased with the result. Trainer, can you describe the emotion we see with Troll racing down the touchline 60? Yeah, I think it's 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 obviously just reward. I'm feeling pleased for those guys. You know, I thought Roosters looked like getting back in it, and you know we come up with some strong defensive sets on our line, and you know forced that turnover when they were trying to shift the ball, and then turned it into an attacking opportunity. I have to say I thought uh, Jackson Paulo was good for us tonight. Uh, he's a young kid who's finding his way in a in a certain position, and he's had to be moved, and he, I thought he handled it really well, and then switched back late in the game and had an impact again, and. Uh, really proud of how he's handled the whole week, um, but yeah, I think you know coming into the game, we were, I was confident. I was confident that if we we upped the intensity with our defence and played through the middle third a bit more, that we, we'd get some joy, and and we did that. And probably unlucky not to score another couple. Cameron, did you notice any change in Latrell this week? Did you have to say anything? Was he just laser focused on this one? Uh, no, I don't think there was any different uh, difference in him. I, th I think. Uh, he's been pretty excited all pre-season to get back out there and I know it hurt not being able to get out there round one so He's been working really hard um, You know on his body and his fitness and um, I think he's only going to get better. So um, yeah, really really pleased with the result uh, I thought the troll played really well tonight What about his mental application Jason? He's spoken about kind of the changes he's made to himself over the offseason the focus he's kind of put on being right mentally controlling his emotions when he's out there. Did you see that tonight? Yeah, I think I've seen that every week for, through the preseason. Um, his discipline off the field, the things that he's doing in and around that, the way he's training, you know, and the, the extra work he's done. I think Travis Toomer, our head of high performance, has done a fantastic job with him as well. I know they've been close for a long time through their time at the Roosters, and um, but he's maturing as well. And I've said that before, and um, you know, he's living what he's speaking about as well, which is important. And I know the impact that he has in the changing room as well. Yeah, I think, you know, last week we, we needed some spark through that middle third and Damien had made 50 tackles in, in 70 minutes and um, it was a pretty special effort. But I wanted him to be Damien tonight and I thought he did that and I thought he represented himself really well and uh, I thought he, he, he set a standard for bringing our forwards into the game better as well and I'm uh, really happy that, that he was able to do that. 
and I thought he was well supported. But again, I thought our completion rate allowed him to get in the game more. It allowed Lachlan, it allowed Cody and allowed Latrell to do a bit more with the footy and, and gave us some opportunities to put the Roosters under pressure with our defence as well. Jason, you spoke quite glowingly yesterday about Trent Robinson. So I'm interested to know, you know how your feelings are on having your first NRL win be against him. Yeah, oh, I, I don't see it too much as against him. Um, I hung the boots up a long time ago, so I, I, I'm just, it's just a challenge. You get excited. I know how well prepared they are. I know how meticulous the Roosters are when it comes to game planning and how they go about it. So, um, you know, when you're going up against a team like that, it, it challenges the coach. And I think what we did well this week is we, we kept it all about us. Um, you know, we were focused on what we needed to do and uh, we kept it about, you know, going out there and improving on what we did, in the, especially in the, the second half in Melbourne. And uh, I think the players did that. What about next week? Jason, uh, it's apparently just finished this result, but it's the grand final rematch come up against Penrith. Is your, is your side ready to, to go with the defending premiers who have been really solid to start here? Yeah, like I said, I think, you know, we went down uh, an extra time last week to one of the heavyweights in the competition and we've beaten one today. So we go to Penrith next week with some confidence. Um, but again, we, you know, we'll review this game. There'll be areas that we can improve on again. And like it is at any start of the season, every week it's about finding those, that extra 5%, 10% where you can, you can improve. And um, we've got a seven day turn, so we'll, we'll look forward to that preparation. What were your feelings today on Lachlan Elliott? I think that was you know, probably, he's only done four games in first grade. First grade, I'd say that's probably his best. And, and I think the way that your, you know, the forwards were today really helped him play his own game as, as people who watch New South Wales Cup might have seen him play in the past. Yeah, you know, I've, I've said it every week. I think he's doing his job and he's doing it well. Um, and the biggest thing he's doing is he's holding his end up defensively. As a young half, the hardest thing you'll do in first grade is defend in the front line. And um, he's, he's got a real physical presence there. He's not overawed by that side of the things and that keeps him calm, keeps him calm with the footy as well. And you know, his little pop pass, I thought, to Cam that set up Cody Walker's try showed his maturity as well. And uh, I've said it before, Lachlan's got a big future at this club and, and I'm, I'm excited to be his coach. Uh, yeah, no, I wasn't expecting it. Um, like Coach said, I just think we um, had a real focus on ourselves this week, so um, we weren't preparing for anything other than just making sure we, we, you know, we were working to be at our best. So, yeah, didn't really spark off there, and I thought. Um, Game plan wise, and, and the way that we sort of um, approached the game was really pleasing. So, yeah, I wasn't really expecting anything there. Thanks, guys.